Hey Halifax, Brenda Kay here with the Halifax Home Selling Group with the monthly stats of what's happening in Halifax real estate. So let's check out the active listings. And as you can see, there's a hundred. There's a hundred listings. In 2019, we had 2008. Isn't that crazy? We have never been in this mode with that amount of listings before. Now I do want to point out though, yesterday, between yesterday and today, there, there was a hundred new listings that came on. So what's been happening in the market for about the last 18 to 20 months is you'd have, you know, maybe 25 new listings come on in one day and you'd have 35 come off the market under condition. So, and it just completely depleted our inventory to the point of where we are now. So hopefully the, the 80 that come on and then the 25 this morning, 100 ones, hopefully those numbers uh, keep, up, keep up. And that's the only way we're going to shift this market. So number of sales. So 542. Yeah, and that, look at last year, 755. So we're down 30%. But look at our inventory. So of course, our units are going to be down because our inventory is so far down. And that's also reflected in the sales year to date. So the sales year to date, uh, 11, 1,127 or $1,127, whichever, or units, whatever you wanna say. And last year we had 1,640 units. So again, it all stems from the active listings that has, has been down there. So sales year to date, we're down about 513 units. So again, if we don't have it listed to sell, we're not, our numbers are not gonna, the market's not gonna correct itself here in Halifax. So days on market, 11, 11 days on market. You go back and you look at 2019, you had 68 days on market. I remember 2015, we had like 180 days on, on market. So we never want to go back to those periods either. So the month supply, so if nothing else was listed and we see the month supply here, it's two weeks, right? It's two weeks. So if nobody listed a thing for the next two weeks, we would run out of inventory. And I do want to say that when we talk about the Halifax numbers here, we are talking about all residential units. We're not differentiating between the styles um, of, of what we're selling there. So, average price, 500 dollars dollars $590,000 in Halifax for the average price. Last year, at this time, it was 478000 that is, I, it's insane, the amount. And I've had so many, you know, first time home buyers, you know, they're calling me and they're getting discouraged and how am I ever gonna get into this market? And it, and it is, it can be, it, you know, there's a lot of buyers fatigue out there and, and they get, it, they're really disheartened. So again, you know, more inventory that comes on the market, the better are we gonna be able to shift this market, this market around. So now, so I look at the average, I, I went back 30 days in March, right? So I, I go back and I say, okay, you know, what's the average list price? This, this really surprised me. 490,000 was the average list price. What was the average sell price? 590,000. The average price in Halifax was $100,000 over the list price. That's our average. Right? So what we really have to do here with our buyers is know that if your budget is 500, we have to shop a little 400, right? Because that difference has to be made up, right? And, and again, that, that turns out to be what, like 120, like 125% is over list, which is just crazy. And you can go back, you look at 2019 here, you know, and, and you're, you know, you're 399. Which, which is an affordable house. Most people can take them. And, oh, whoops, I meant to say 97%. Okay. Um, I meant to say 97%. And that's what it, that the whole, like, 14, 15 years I've been doing this, it runs anywhere between 96 to 98. Now, it's 125%. Just a little bit insane there. So, appreciation, 23%. Isn't that a nice number to see? 
if you're sitting on your equity and you're looking for that value of your home to go up. And last year it was it was quite a bit more. If you see here, it was 34% last year. So the the appreciation has cooled a little bit, uh, you know. But the average price that's that's selling out there has significantly, like you see, from 470 to 590. So I'm going to back out of the way here for a second and let's look at some of our MLS district maps that we've done here. You can see in the upper left-hand corner there, 63 units in Sackville. So Sackville was definitely the place people wanted to be and the units in Fairview were five. And again, we're having a really, really inventory shortage. Let's check out our next one, our days on market. So the Sandboro Catch Harbor area down here, We've got uh, 30 days on market. Our lowest was four days in Hammonds Plains. You can see that to the left of the screen here. And then if you look at Waverly, Fall River, Elder Lake, and Creighton Park, you're looking at five days uh, on market. So that's not very long. That's not very long. Think about it because by the time you list it and people see it, you're not even getting a week for people to see, see the property. So let's look at the average price here. So we can see at Eastern Passage there, we've got 444,000 is the average price. And our high is actually in Sambro at uh, 890. So and I wanna talk about, just talk about the average price and what it gets you. We're just gonna jump back to that for a minute. So the average price at 590, okay. So here's what in the last month, went for 590 that you could get. So if you want to be in Armdale, you get a house that's a little bit older. It was built in 1953. It's 1,600 square feet. That sold for 590. You can go to Bedford, and in Bedford, you could have bought a split entry that was built in 1991, and it was 2,488 square feet, had double garage in it. And then if you go to Cole Harbor for 590, then you're looking a split entry there also 2446 square feet that was built in 1982. so as you can tell as always all the districts have different um di what you get for what money you put in there so i have so many people like on a daily basis call me and say like what should i do you know should i sell now should i sit on it i'm an investor um i'm not even going to share my thoughts on the new cooling off of what the government has put in place because um yeah maybe i will comment on it because i think that it has made us divisive from the rest of canada and i think towns like chester and mahone bay they, they that's their bread and butter that's how they survive you know and so you're punishing people because they want to come to nova scotia and spend on, you know, build our economy. Hello? Okay, that's Brendan Case thought on, on that down there. So um, if you have any questions about the market, feel free, reach out to me, leave a comment below. And if you enjoy my videos, um, I don't normally rant like that, but that had to come out today. If you enjoy my videos, please hit subscribe and you'll get a new one in your inbox every Thursday. I am Brenda Kay with the Halifax Home Selling Group. The sweet Miss Frankie is sitting right there looking at me. I'll see you next month for the stats.